Alrighty, hello everyone. I'm doing another video on this nifty RGB LED controller box from Cooler Master. Mostly because one of my subscriber, um, Parsha Pandi, Marsha Pandi, something like that. I hope that I'm pronouncing the name correctly, though I kind of doubt it. Terribly sorry about that. Um, asked me how you could connect this little box to your own PC. So, since it's actually quite easy and, well, I'm doing my cleaning uh, shenanigans um, that I do every once in a while, I decided that I might as well just do that just the same. So, here's the box. I've already reviewed it. If you need any specific information regarding the box itself, you can see my, old, uh, my other videos. Um, so, I'm only going to be addressing how you can connect this box to your PC in this video. So, should be fairly easy. Right, so first things first, you only need to connect the USB cable, which is this one, and it's already connected to the computer, I will show you a picture later on, um, and the SATA power to connect this uh, box to your PC, okay? So the rest, we're talking about connecting peripherals like fans and stuff like that. So cables are coded, so you cannot plug them the wrong way, so please be you know, rest assured that you will not break anything by connecting the cable the wrong way. Um, so you can just go ahead and connect it. In this case, I'm connecting the peripheral just because I have to, but don't worry about it. Um, and I will also run the cable through the place that I want it to run through. And then you have the USB cable, which is this one. So, piece of advice. These connectors are really small, they are really fragile, um, the cables are really thin, and the more you, you know, connect them and disconnect them and connect them again, and the more you handle them, um, they will break. Don't, don't even think that they will not, because they will. I'm actually kind of worried that I'm doing this video and handling the connectors the way I am because the video needs to be clear for you to understand what I'm doing but for that I need to be a bit more rough than I usually am so please do not work the cables the same way or fashion that I'm doing it be very careful okay so I'm gonna be I'm gonna connect the USB cable right now and it's connected like this as I mentioned you cannot connect them the wrong way well, if you force it enough, it might, but no, that's not something I would advise you to. Again, be extra careful when handling them. Um, so now I've just connected the USB cable, okay, which is connected to the motherboard in an internal USB 2 header. Okay, so if you need to know how the port looks, you simply go to Google and you Google. USB, two, uh, USB type 2 or USB 2 um, internal motherboard header and you check for the pictures they are all the same okay um oh also you cannot connect that connector uh, the wrong way on the motherboard because one of the um, spaces inside of the connector is empty so it's filled out with plastic so you cannot connect that one uh, the wrong way either uh, you then grab the SATA port cable in this case and you connect it to the um, box as well again you cannot connect SATA ports um, cables the wrong way so just connect it and it's done since it's magnetic you can just leave it somewhere I actually like to have it on top of my PSU I'm pretty sure the camera is not picking that up because it's all black but well um, it looks quite nifty if I can say so say so myself and yeah that's it so you need to remember that cables are fragile um, the box actually comes with a fair amount of them I mean I still have some leftovers uh, let's see yeah I still have a lot of leftovers so yeah um, but I mean if you break one that's one less um, peripheral you will have connected so just be careful um, you cannot connect them the wrong way so look at the port look at the cable and it will be clear and easy to understand uh, in what uh, direction it should be facing uh, you need one SATA port 
Um, and once you connect it to the USB um, header inside of the computer and you boot up the computer, it will recognize the device. It will not work, obviously, because you, you have not yet installed the um, uh, Cooler Master software. Once you have installed it, everything will just start um, working and it's really awesome. So yeah, I hope that was clear and easy to understand. If you have any remaining doubts, feel free to to leave a message and I will try to address it. Regarding the software, um, do not worry, it's extremely easy to understand. You have like really big pictures in it. You can just click on the, the number, like one channel, second channel. You click on one and, you, and then you have several options regarding the modes. Um, so you can click static, you, you click one and then you click on static and then you select the color and that's the static color that the LEDs will have. So it's really simple and easy to understand. So just try it and you'll get it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, leave your likes and leave your subs and your comments as well. Please do. Uh, so that will help me a great, a great deal. Um, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have fun.